What's up tough squads, Haskell the Gamer here. Today we're playing 7 Days to Die, Alpha 18, here on our PC. So buckle your seatbelts, tighten your bootstraps, let's go. Okay tough squads, this is well overdue. So this is our second ultimate base. Alright, we got issue, we got issues. Already we got issues, what, what's going on, what's going on, what's going on. Ah, uh, we got enemies. That's broken. <laughs> Did not know that was broken. Oh, my turret took that out. My turret took it out for him. Ah, uh, he's just standing there. Ooh. All right, so <laughs> that's a little demonstration of what this base can do. All right, so the base already went into self explanation. Exp the base already went into self explanation. If I can get it right. All right, so here we go. So here we we have um relays. That for for the um outside um for the outside power source and um these relays uh goes to the camera right here the motion camera and also um our speaker which um you guys heard you heard by now it, it it's a um. As you guys can hear by now, it, it, it's it's my warning system, and I have that as a warning system, and I have a in, indicator lights inside. I'll show you guys. All right, so the way you get into this base is two ways. Through each one of these doors, I have one on the west side, north side, east side, and the west and the uh, south side. So the way you get in is you walk through here. The the motion um, sensor pick you up. I delayed my right there a little bit because I didn't go inside. All right, so before I show you that, which you already see, um, I have dog traps here, and uh, also let me step away from the motion sensor. And I also have um, here uh, electric uh, post fence. So um, whenever whenever the zombie walks up, I, I have two separate cameras. Um, one is to detect me and open the door, and one is to detect the zombies. Actually, yeah, and one is to detect the zombies so the the, the those turrets can shoot them. So that's our first line of defense. Um, basically, here I'm gonna have maybe blade traps going around, or maybe and this is creative by the way. So um. I did this all in creative. It's this is very much um how should I put it? Uh material intensive. It takes a lot of material to build this. So um I did not want to do it in in a regular game. So it, it was more efficient for me to build this in um creative. So I built it from scratch. It, it I came to this junction in the road and I just built it um Basically, just just build it around the junction, the intersection here. All right, so and, and um, like I said, if zombies come, they'll be um. They uh they'll they'll come in, in into the. What you call it, the motion sensor, and it'll trip, the. It'll trip the speaker. And it'll show lights inside, indicator lights inside, to show me what side they're coming from. All right, so basically, when the zombie walk up, the the door's not gonna open for them, but they 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 will get shocked by those electric fence and shot by my dart dart traps, and also um they'll get hit by 
the um my automatic uh turrets outside um we have sensors inside here so uh this is a light indicator this is one i have one right here and one directly above it and the same for all the other three sides i have one on the bottom and another one directly above it um the these here i'm, I'm gonna eventually um take these down and replace them with uh shotgun turrets or maybe automatic um the the automatic turrets um as you guys can see um if i'm if i'm going out i will come here and the sensor will pick me up and it'll open a door and i'll go out and the same thing for for getting back in um these are access point to to get up and these are sensor lights so when i walk in the room the the light the sensor light will come on right and it'll come off when i come out the room same thing for all all three sides uh here i got i have a little you know opening so i can shoot the zombies from down here i can go ahead and shoot them from here and um this motion sensor it opens up the the um hatch doors for me so if i want to go upstairs i basically just jump up here all right so these are the other and by the way i i, I have switches for everything um the reason I, I was able to walk in here and not get shocked by my electric fence because I, I have switches here that control the power um to the, the power source to them all right so the door i can shut down the doors with uh my switch here so if i come here the camera is not gonna pick me up and it's not gonna open the door so right now the door is sealed all right if i want to turn on the electric fences let's go ahead and hit those switches and they are now armed outside and inside um one switch is for the door one switch is for um these fence the outside fence actually one switch that switch that switch over there is for the door i'm sorry one one of these switches is for um the electric fence inside the other one is for the dot trap outside and the other switch is for um it's for the electric fence on the other side if i want to shut everything down i i have a main switch which i will hit i have a main switch that will hit i can hit and it'll, it'll shut um all the, the the entire system down so i won't be able to get shocked so I'm, I'll be fine. I can walk through here. I won't get shocked. But the, the, the second I turn these on, I arm them. I walk through here. I'm going to get shocked. So those are functional. They are working. Let me use one of these. All right. So those are working. As you can, as you can see, they're all wired up and they are working. They will shock the crap out of you. And any zombie that try to come in. So basically, if I'm down here, I can have this opened. If there's like a zombie shows up, I can just kill him from here. Bum, 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 bum. Right? And I can shut the door on him if I want to. If it's too much, it's getting, getting overrun. And they basically will get um, hit by the electric fence and the door trap and the, the shotgun turret from outside. All right, um, all right, let's go ahead and, for, for me to be able to shut the, this door back down, I have to disarm the doors and turn off those, turn off those, and now it's not hot anymore, it's cold. So now I can jump in my Jeep and drive, drive out, you know, do my thing, come back in, and um, so let me show you. Let me show you the rest of what's going on. Alright, so 
we can hop in our Jeep. All right. If I can get in here. All right. So we hop in our Jeep. We can go out through any one of these exit that we want to that we want to. And um I won't get shocked because Alright, boom, we're out. And just like that, we wanna go back in. Alright, so basically we pull up, this door will open for us, drive through, alright, going back out, the door will open for us, and we drive through, boom. Alright, so the second way to get into our base now is going to take us to, nice. to the top level. So this is the second way to get into the base, basically let's drive up to your ramp, and this door is automatic. You just gotta hurt. I'm not gonna make it. <laughs> I would have made it. Alright, so. Boom. So if, if I didn't make it right there on, on the timer, then I would have messed up. I, 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 it'll um, basically just flip me all over the place. And it'll be bad. Bad look, bad look. And this is. A little parking garage for our Jeep. We want to go out. It'll open for us. It'll open for us. Ooh. <laughs> I'm not usually bad with so bad with um the controller on this thing. I'm having a bad day driving. And we're just going to take it straight in. Boom. Uh, so up here we have our runway. We have a little runway action going on. And my, 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 um, my driving is pretty bad today. Alright, so that's it. We got an automatic drawbridge right here. And there's zombies down here. Alright, let's get them over on this side. So we can see some of the stuff going in action. Where is it? Oh, <laughs> he's trying to come up here. Look at him. Don't even know he can't make it. Just mindlessly walk off now. Right, let's see if we can get into this side, and I can show you how the um, indicator lights work. Alright, so he's gonna try to come to one of these places. There we go. See? So we know he's on this side. We know he's on this side. Boom. He got hit by my turrets. He died. And if I if I had the base armed. He would have been. It was. He would have got electrocuted by uh, my electric fence, but I have my switches off. All right, so let's head back upstairs real quick. Come on, baby, come on. All right, so. All right, these are the switches for. Um. The. The speakers so if we're having a hard night if we're having a hard night and i you know we already know that zombies are coming and you don't want constant noise i'll go ahead and shut that off and um i still get the light indicator that that i can deal with but um the the speakers wouldn't wouldn't sound so up here is like uh, um solar um so uh, my solar setup 
and this switch right here control these lights but they are they are on a timer so they, they won't come on um, until at night all right so they are on a timer so that's why they're off right now here's my gyrocopter I haven't flew it in a while so you know I'm, I'm, I'm pretty good with taking off and coming back in on landing but um, knowing me right now I probably like will crash cuz my um my gameplay is not on point at this point so this this is just like a you know just a useless part of the base really this is just basically just a, a lookout uh, we can see like a 360 view and here we have an incoming right here we have a zombie right there let's take it out I missed. And oh, she's so lucky. Missed again. She the my turns will take care of her. So up here, basically. Boom. She went into the wrong place. And now she's dead. Uh, and this basically is, you know, like a like another elevation. And up here, I'm gonna I'm gonna build a a control tower up here. It's gonna be like a radar tower. For my um, for my gyrocopter. So when I'm coming in, you know, I I can I can use my radar tower to you know navigate my way here. So I I uh, I won't crash and burn. Yeah. Oh crap! I totally missed where I was supposed to walk. I'm <laughs> I'm so surprised I didn't freaking break something just now. All right. So. Let's attempt to fly our gyrocopter real quick and then um and try to land it. Like I said, I'm probably gonna crash and burn because I haven't done do this in a while. Alright, so let me see if I can remember the controls. So I believe it's it's either C or or spacebar. To elevate, spacebar to elevate, and C to, all right, and C to descend. All right, so just gonna take off real quick.